A Falls Church family says their son was nearly hit by a car on this street while walking to the bus stop. They went to last month's city council meeting in order to try and get something done. Today I sat down with those parents. There is quite a bit of traffic on the street. Jessica and Brian Hegenbart have called Falls Church home for just four months. I've also noticed it seems like people are going pretty fast. These signs now posted in their yard after an incident that stopped this mom in her tracks. My son was almost hit by a car a couple weeks ago walking to school um, and he I was right there watching it happen uh, from across the street. Um, I saw that he looked both ways twice, but uh, we live on a curve and there was some cars in the way and unfortunately there was a blind spot for both the car and for him. She says she doesn't think the driver meant to do any harm and her son wasn't the only child to almost be hit by a car last month. It is rare and it is alarming. A car almost hit a little girl as she was crossing the street and luckily just hit her backpack, but it did pull her into traffic. You know, whenever there's something like that, you, it, uh, you treat it as if it were, you know, the worst case scenario and you take action based on it. He says the city is looking at ways to send a strong signal to the drivers cutting through residential neighborhoods. He says cut through traffic continuously gets worse and driving apps could be adding to it. Maps give drivers alternate routes to avoid heavy traffic and that's sending them into these residential neighborhoods. Is it getting worse? I think that that technology is making it worse, yes. In last month's city council meeting, the city's police chief said traffic is the number one complaint in most communities and that there is a lot of cut through traffic across the city, mentioning the nearby tolls that were put in place. The city is working to get the latest data from VDOT on the traffic impact these tolls are having. For this family, they say their street is dealing with that. There's some things going on that make it uh, unfriendly and scary. And now they, along with the city, hope something can change.